Hey, this is Andy with Rocket City Pinball. I wanted to demonstrate for you an updated process for replacing the coin reject buttons in uh, modern Stern games. Uh, the, the issue is, previously my process showed you that you could access the back of the button here and you could grab that E-clip with some pliers and pull it off. Um, that process stopped working recently because they've started to use really tiny skinny E-clips on here. These are uh, 3 16 inch Eclipse instead of the quarter inch that they used to use and so now they're almost impossible to pull those off while the coin button is still installed. So now you end up having to take off this whole assembly and I'm going to demonstrate for you how to do that in just a minute. The other thing I want to point out while we're there is the bulbs that they're providing are these little surface mounted diode, one single diode on there and they're not very bright. Um, so look at these two right here. The one on the right is the bulb that they included there and then the one on the left is a frosted bulb that I've installed. So a frosted bulb is a better idea in this location because that frosted cover will help scatter the light more and that's also a two or a four diode bulb rather than just the single one that they offer. So I recommend um, you use this type of bulb instead. Um, I get mine from Comet. I can also make it an option to include them for an additional cost on your order. Um, so I'm also going to start including the original quarter inch Eclipse because when you install my new buttons it'll be easier to install it with that size rather than trying to force this tiny little one back on there. So when you do remove them I end up having to just take a pair of pliers and grab it on the side oops sorry this way and pull real hard to get them off but you can't do it in place anymore so let me demonstrate for you real quick how to take these um, little faces off so that you can install the buttons. Let me hand the camera off to my trusty assistant so all you need to take these off is just a Phillips head screwdriver. If you look inside, you'll see you'll see uh, four screws. There's one here and one down here, and then on this side of the button, right above the housing, there's one here, and there's another one underneath down in here. Okay, so you have to take those four off. These two on the right are different lengths, so make sure you keep them separate when you take them out. So I'll start with this one over here. <laughs> and just a tip for you, if you're ever doing this and you drop a screw and you can't seem to find it, look down around the side of the coin mech down in here because there's magnets in this assembly and sometimes you drop a, a screw and it gets stuck to the side of the coin mech because of the magnet there. All right, so there's one, there's another one. Like that, see? So it just happened. So look, there it is. <laughs> Stuck to the magnet on the coin mech. So if you ever drop a screw, check your coin mech. All right, now I'm going to come back over here above the little yellow block there. Okay, got that one. And one more underneath. If you have trouble reaching it, you can push the coin button in and that'll push the armature out of the way to give you a little better access. Okay, and once that fourth screw comes out, now this, let's come around to the front. Let's see what we're doing here. So now this whole face can come off just like this and the whole assembly comes out. And you'll notice that this yellow box that has the actual button inside is loose and you have a separate piece here that's the actual slot. So I recommend you just lay it flat like this and just lift this assembly out of here. And then what you're going to do, you know, I've, as you can see, I've already installed my coin reject in here. But now at this point, now you can push the button in and you'll be able to grab that tiny little E-clip with your pliers and pull it off. Um, and then when you put mine in, like I said, I'll start including these larger Eclipse so you can install that on there much more easily. The tiny ones would work, but you have to bend them a little bit, so they're really tough to get on. So that's how that works, and then obviously reassembly is the opposite process. So you just go and put this right back in, just like that. And then you come back to the front of the game, push it in like so, and then reinstall your four screws. Remember the two short screws go on the left, the two longer screws go on the right, and then you'll be good to go. And then of course to change your bulb, this little housing for the bulb just pops right off the, off the top and you would pull their 
piece of junk bulb out of there and you put your nice brighter bulb back in. So simple as that. If you have any questions or issues, please reach out and contact me through my website, rocketcitypinball.com.